Please, no movement. I want to pray for you now. The Bible says, he that strives for mastery is not crowned unless he strives lawfully. While I watched your worship team come up to minister, I was so blessed. You could see a product of grace enhanced by preparation, skill, gift that was utilized. Listen to me. Let me tell you this. God's servant made a statement and said, when it has to do with driving, you want a good driver not a good man to drive you. Did you hear what I said? When it has to do with driving, your focus is to get a good driver, not a good man. When it has to do with flying, you are looking for a good pilot, not a good chef, not even a good man. Being good is wonderful, but being good upon a gifted life. You see that now? There are many people who are just good, but in terms of value, that commands attention, help, and reward, they are not serious there. And so they feel all they can bring is their goodness to the table. Goodness is good, but you need more than that. Jesus did not just come with a good heart. He came with grace and the ability to sacrifice and to give all. There are two prayer points you are going to pray and I speak over your life tonight. Prayer point number one, the grace to stay on the word to edit my understanding till I saturate my life with what God has said. Go ahead and pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Father, help me to place value on your speakings, to place value on what you have said, for that is the basis of a robust faith. Not what I feel, not what I want alone, but what you have said, what you have said, Teach me what you have said. Show me what you have said. Someone is praying. I obtain grace to be a student of scripture. As a preacher, as a businessman, as an administrator, as a parent, as a student, I receive grace. Grace to walk in keeping with what God has said. I am careful and attentive to the things that I hear. My destiny depends on it. Exploits depends on it. The speakings of God. The speakings of God. The word of God revealed to my spirit as concerning every area of my destiny. One minute, we are praying. Please cry to your maker. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Lord, I desire results. Tired of explanations. I desire genuine results in ministry, in my finances, in leadership. I desire results. In Jesus' name, prayer point number two, the grace to obey. It says, now that ye know these things, happy are you if you do them. If you do them. The Bible says, talking about Father Abraham, that after he, he says, um, how did he put it now? That Abraham considered not the deadness of Sarah's womb. He gave thanks. He was faithful. Paraphrasing, he was faithful to obey. Can I tell you this? You must obtain grace to obey. Many of us, what is responsible for our stuntedness is disobedience. The instructions have come, but disobedience. God tells you that if you are afflicted you should pray you've been afflicted since january you have refused to pray it's disobedience disobedience does any man lack wisdom he says ask of the lord that giveth liberally how do you know you lack wisdom by the kind of the consequences that follow your decisions if your 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 decisions are not superior is the bankruptcy of wisdom and wisdom is connected to mighty works and so you cry but you have not cried the bible says follow them who through faith and patience have obtained the promise god has saturated your life with people who have commendable results you have refused to submit yourself to follow them disobedience having the readiness to judge all disobedience only when your obedience 
is complete. Father, the grace to obey. The grace for complete obedience. Someone pray. Obedience in giving. Obedience in prayer. Obedience in fasting. Obedience in taking advantage of the word. Obedience in taking actions of faith. Obedience in setting up the works of your hands. Obedience in pressing for competence. I receive grace in the name of Jesus. Let me encourage you, do not miss tomorrow's sessions. I'm sure the details will come. Make sure you open up your heart for tomorrow's session and then the final session. God is on a journey with many of us. Allow him finish what he's doing with you. Investing this week and rewriting the next 10, 20, 30, 40 years of your destiny would be a wise bargain. Did you hear what I said? Let me speak over your life. Hold on. Do you believe in prophetic words? He said, I prophesied as I was commanded. And he said there was a sound. If it is God that commanded it, there will always be a sound. Always be a sound. I'm lending my voice with the angel and the prophet over this house. And I want to speak over your life. You came to church. You sacrificed so much to be here. Let me deposit something by the Spirit of God. I pray for you in the name that is above all names. From today, may you experience God as helper. I say it again from today. May you experience God as helper. The assignment of a helper is to make things possible and to make things easy. Two things. A helper, every helper has two assignments. To make things possible and to make things easy. I say it again. May God reveal himself in your life, your ministry as helper. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number two. All blessings come from God to men to men. I don't know where the human vessel is that prophecy is upon to help you. But I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Wherever they are in this Lagos or in this Nigeria or in Africa or across the globe. I cry to the God of my covenant. May they gravitate towards you. 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 In the name of Jesus. Everything that has killed your prayer life. That your passion for God has gone down. Is an attack on your destiny. Because Satan knows that in your advancement in prayer. Is the advancement of all things connected to you. I pray for you tonight. Fresh fire on your altar. The grace to get back to prayer from tonight. The grace to get back to prayer from tonight. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Let me hold my Bible as I speak to you. I don't know what has destroyed your appetite for the word. You would rather watch a movie than study scripture. Nothing is wrong with watching a movie. But with respect to your destiny, it will be irresponsible of you to be watching a movie when your destiny is on fire there are times to turn everything upside down in your house and open this scripture it says i wept for no man was worthy to open the book weeping continues once the book is closed he said weep not for the lion of the tribe of judah has prevailed he is worthy to open the book i pray for you the grace to open the book let it rest on you the grace to open the book, let it rest on you. The grace to open the book, let it rest on you. The Bible says in Luke chapter 4 that he was given the scroll and he opened to the scroll of Isaiah and he found there where it was written concerning him. I pray for you, as you open the book, may you find what was written. 
concerning your destiny find it by the spirit concerning your ministry find it by the spirit concerning your assignment find it by the spirit in the name of jesus let me pray for your finances please believe it believe it believe it god blesses us principally through the works of our hands but you see the church is a place where we allow the prophetic speakings of god there is an advantage we have in the kingdom we are not just left to buying and selling we are not just left to transactions there is a prophetic advantage we are not without help buying and selling only became potent when she met the prophet it was the prophet who referred her back to buying and selling but it was his prophecy that made her to be able to get vessels and it was his prophecy that made her to be able to get buyers if she just got vessels she would not even get vessels and she would not get buyers it was the prophecy because the prophecy came she gathered everything and he said now go and sell it and leave off the rest it's good to do business but make sure god goes before you because it is vain to wake up early and to sleep late at night only to eat the bread of sorrow but my bible says he giveth his beloved sleep therefore i pray for you in the name that is above all names in this season i pray for you extraordinary supernatural financial supplies by the spirit of the living god may my god connect you to strategic opportunities connect you to strategic opportunities me it says the increase of the earth is for all that even the king is fed from that which comes from the field i'm wrapping up i feel stirred in my heart to pray for you in the name of jesus i forbid you from begging i've shared with you here there are many of you you are gifted but you are with the wrong audience. You have not yet gotten to the environment that has the discernment to honor you. Joseph interpreted three people's dreams. He interpreted the dream of the wine presser. He remained in prison. They didn't have the wherewithal to help him. He interpreted the dream of the baker. He remained there. But when the king dreamt, the same gift though, the gift did not improve. It was only the audience that changed. There are some of you, you have been interpreting dreams well done, but you have exhausted that training. It's time for God to announce you. And God does not necessarily need to upgrade the gift. He just needs to bring the people who have capacity to discern what you carry and reward you. And I pray for you already. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the grace that lifts, may the grace that announces, let it rest upon you now. Let it rest upon you now. Let it rest upon you now. Listen, announcement is a spiritual thing. Media can only help. Believe me, if that grace has not rested, you will shout around and nobody will hear you. He said, he that has an ear, let him hear. That means not everybody has that kind of ear. You can be shouting and say, I am here. I studied this. I can do this. But the realm of the spirit says we cannot hear you. And that is where the control room is. I have a great ministry. I can heal. Listen to me. I have a, I can, my family is a great family. But the realm of the spirit is not hearing. There is a hear ye him anointing. A grace that rests upon you. And even the deaf will know you are there. Can I speak it over someone? In the name of Jesus. Whatever has silenced your influence. So that your voice will not be heard. I call upon the God of my covenant. May you be heard from today. May you be heard from today. Let the ends of the earth hear you. Let the ends of the earth hear you. my assignment tonight is to threaten that which keeps you down that has vowed that your voice will not be heard john said i am the voice of one crying 
he was heard when Jesus came he was heard one of the things they tried to do to the early apostles was to shut their voice so that they will not it's not only men businesses have voices ministries have voices you can be active and sincere but if that sound in the spirit is not heard your relevance will also die with you I say it again the spirit that is shutting your voice I came by the rod of a higher priesthood in the name of Jesus that silence comes to an end Hallelujah. Gifted, but nobody's seen you. Genuinely called, but it looks like you are just going around rigmaroling. Grande balaka skopata, shata pakata katos, skate pakata, rekete bekete balas sopas, granta pakatos, embrekete berekos katiataka, leskaba shamas kabedesh, embrata bereka parias kata. Can I tell you this? Believe me, when that grace is on you. It doesn't matter even if you are in a hole, the nations will look for you there. It is true. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. The Holy Ghost power. Rest on me, let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me, let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, let your spirit, spirit of wisdom, rest on me, rest on me, let your spirit, Spirit of wisdom, rest on me, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Spirit of wisdom, rest on me. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Now hear me please. There are some serious prayers that we want to pray now. And whilst we pray, I'm already seeing visions of fire. When the Holy Spirit reveals himself as fire, he does not just come as a refiner. He also comes to burn everything. Everything in life is heat dependent. There is no material known to man that can survive certain levels of heat. Hallelujah. Now hear me. I taught you that there are five spiritual atmospheres. And every time God introduces any of them, you must be discerning because it's time to receive. The atmosphere of prayer engenders reception. The atmosphere of worship engenders reception. The atmosphere of the prophetic engenders reception. You must be sensitive. I want us to pray. Are you ready to pray? This is the ministration no? as I pray. Who is Josiah? Josiah. I'm hearing the name Josiah. Josiah. Haras koli kabandi grahaf kazimala kosi apash krabate sevene kaparazu benished krida vele sobandi Josiah. I'm hearing the name Josiah. Every altar that has brought families down, every altar that will not allow men and families to rise. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I'm hearing Josiah in the name of Jesus Christ. I curse those atmospheres now. I curse those atmospheres now.
you have a daughter her name is joy you have a daughter the name of the daughter is joy I'm not saying the daughter it's not the daughter I'm calling is a woman who has a daughter whose name is joy please where are you I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus let me pray for those in front here I'm seeing attacks on two of you we are going to pray but I'm seeing strange attacks I curse those spirits right now by the power of the Holy Ghost out of them now in the name of Jesus. out of them now oh, oh, oh. Rest on me, oh, oh, rest on me, oh, oh, oh. I'm still seeing these attacks. Every attack on any family represented here by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now, I decree and declare by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic, be delivered this moment. 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 You have been seeing the spirit of death on your husband. This is what God is revealing to me. The spirit of death, you have seen it in dreams and this is targeted towards your husband. God wants me to pray for you before we get into prayer now. I decree and declare, I don't know who that woman is. The spirit of death and this is targeted over your husband. That your husband will die and leave you and with your children and you go through all kinds of pain. And this thing wants to come as cancer. This is what I'm seeing in the name that is above all names. And by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I command that spirit of death masquerading as infirmity. It dies now. It dies now. It dies now. Hallelujah. One, two, three, four. Five. Five people will shout now under the anointing. Please, I want you to bring them out. I know there are people shouting, but this is, I saw the number five. Bring them out. Tonight, God is giving you a change of story. Please bring them out. There is a reason why I ask them to come out. Your sister is a commissioner. Your sister is a commissioner this is what your sister is a commissioner is there someone like that commissioner meaning those who aid governments um commissioner i don't know whether commissioner of what but i'm hearing commissioner your sister is a commissioner is there someone like that i want to pray for you very quickly please if i mention your case just hurry up so you don't waste our time we're going to pray in the name of jesus the son of the living god I'm praying right now for that person because I'm seeing something that looks like it's a spiritual thing but it looks like someone eats and then they begin to have a bloating stomach and that's how they just pass on in the name that is above all names anyone digging a pit for you after the order of her man may they fall into their same pit I say it again anyone digging a pit for your destruction they fall into that pit they fall into that pit. They fall into that pit in the name of Jesus. For all of you who are in front here, I stretch my hands towards you. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything that is inconsistent with God's intent for your life and destiny, I stretch my hands towards you now and I declare be delivered forever. Be delivered forever. Please return back to your seat. We are going to pray fire is falling here now when it's time to pray in this prayer you are receiving with all your heart are you ready to pray psalm 3 and verse 1 3 and verse 1 give my people the mic so that we'll pray 3 and verse 1 it says oh lord how are they increased that trouble me many are they that rise up against me psalm 71 and verse 21 we are praying someone's destiny is about to change read with me one to read Thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me 
How many sides? How many sides? Joshua chapter 3 and verse 7. Joshua 3 and verse 7. Read with me. And the Lord said unto Joshua, This day I will begin to magnify thee in the sight of all Israel, that they may know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. Are you ready to pray? Shout this from the depth of your heart. Father, Father for your glory, for your glory, increase my greatness. Go ahead and pray. Increase my greatness for your glory. Father, for your glory, increase my greatness. Take away smallness from my destiny. Increase my greatness. Someone pray. Tired of where you are, pray. Tired of where you are, pray. Tired of where you are, pray. Father, for your glory, increase my greatness. For your glory, increase my greatness. For your glory, increase my greatness. Greatness is your heritage. Increase my greatness. Increase my greatness. Increase the greatness of my family for your glory. Thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. Take away smallness from my destiny. Paro shabalakata bakata, rakata barakata fraskatesh, rapato sobrakata balakata. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. My God, something is happening to your spirit, man. I tell you, there is an elevation in the spirit. An elevation. I'm seeing a ladder. This is what I'm seeing, an elevation. You will suddenly go and see that things are changing, changing in your life. Hmm. Prayer point number two. Take it down for me. For the last one month, this prayer point has not left my spirit. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore everything that was lost. Restore. You will restore. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore everything that was lost. Restore, you will restore. Are you ready to pray? Joel chapter 2. Some of you have lost all kinds of things. Everything to be lost has left you. You have lost opportunities. You have lost relationships. You have lost joy. You have lost strategic resources. It's time to have it back. Joel 2.25 And I will restore to you the years. And I will restore to you the years. God can restore time. Did you hear what I said? God can restore time. I will restore to you the years if God cannot restore time then he's not greater than time 
if it is, he is greater and higher than the realm of time, then he must sustain the ability to restore time. Jeremiah 30 and verse 17. Please give it to us quickly. We are praying. Someone's life is changing. For I will restore health unto you. Those failing organs. Those failing body parts. You are just 20, 30. And yet they are telling you that you are losing certain things. It's time to be angry. God does not just restore time. God restores health and vitality. Psalm 41, 1 to 3. Shabaka parakatos yata. Blessed is the man that considered the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. Verse 2. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. He says, and he shall be blessed upon the earth. He says, thou will not deliver him to the will of his enemies. Shout verse 3 together. The Lord will strengthen him in the bed of languishing. And I will make all his bed in sickness. God will not allow him to die, not allow him to deplete and famish. First Peter 5 and verse 10. I like this one. God is restoring. But the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory, he says, after that ye have suffered a while, what does he do? Make you perfect, establish you, strengthen you and then settle you say it again make you perfect establish you strengthen you and then settle you say father i decree i declare divine restoration of opportunities of relationships of resources of men of my joy now, open your mouth and pray. Restoration. 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 Paris Sabalagadash. Gram Patalagabarakatos. Rakatas Kotobros. Abrakatabalakata Freskatabalaka. Restoration. 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 Restore joy. Restore years. Restore things. Restore men. Restore resources. Shabaka Paros, Rakata Braskata Vaskabash, Ratakata Braskata Balakos, Rakata Brantakabash, Ebrakatos Koto Brekatelet. Cry restoration, cry restoration, cry restoration. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Job chapter 42 and verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And the Lord gave Job how many? How many? As much as he had before. The Lord turned his captivity, but he did not stop there. God restored by giving twice. Are you ready for the third prayer point? We have five in total, but we'll pray three now. And then I'll begin to minister deliverance. There are days, there are weeks, there are months, there are years. Whichever one your faith defines is what becomes your reality. If your faith is for years, save Johnny. If your faith is for months, save Johnny. He said, give us this day. Give us when? One more time. So God can give men this day. There are times they will say, after five months, on the sixth month of the seventh year, the word of the Lord came. But Jesus himself said, when you pray, remind the Father that it's within his power to give you this day. Give me this, this day. 
give me liftings this day. Open a door for me this day. Are you ready to pray? Joshua chapter 21 and verse 45. Give us amplified. We are still praying. Don't give up on God. Because he won't give up on you. He saved us. I'm charging your faith as we get into this place of prayer. I know him. My God is able to do just what he says. Joshua 21 45 read with me ready one to read there failed no part of any good thing which the Lord had promised to the house of Israel all came to pass how many how many are you ready to pray say father I declare a speedy manifestation of every prophetic word that is upon my life open your mouth and cry I declare speedy manifestation of every prophetic word I declare someone pray I declare a speedy manifestation of every prophetic word Speedy manifestation. Speedy manifestation. You have spoken. Let it come to pass. Today, you have spoken. Let it come to pass. Now, you have spoken. Let it come to pass. Now, you have spoken. Let it come to pass. Now. Let it come to pass now. Let it come to pass now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. My God, I'm tempted to give you the next one. Just endure. Let me give you the next one. Huh? Are you ready for the next one? John 14, 11. I have to give you the next one. This is why you came. He said, believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. And if that revelation is what cannot make you believe, he said, believe me for the sake of the results. Believe me for the work's sake. Results can make men believe God and believe you. Did you hear what I said? Results can make men believe God and believe you. We read John 15, 8 earlier on. Hearing is my father glorified when ye bear much fruit. Not just fruit, much fruit. Great results. John 15, 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. Hallelujah ordained you to go and bear fruit 15 16 and that your fruit should remain let me tell you the truth do not downplay results in this life i know that you are here because you love jesus but you are also here because you have seen results results are the end of any and every argument you can argue all you can but not in the presence of results hallelujah what is the prayer 
father give evidence to my Christian experience did you hear what I said give evidence I'm tired of running around telling people I'm a Christian. I'm tired of telling people I love you without proof. I'm tired of telling people I'm serving you without proof. I'm tired of telling people that I'm living for you. Father, give evidence to my Christian experience. Give evidence to my loving you. Give evidence to my serving you. Give evidence to my trusting you. Are you ready? Say, Father. In this season, in this season evidence, give evidence to, my to my Christian experience results, results. Genuine, results. genuine results open your mouth and pray bring me into a realm of authentic results give evidence give evidence are you praying all the overflows pray to my serving you give evidence to my loving you give evidence to my live my living for you sabras kabarakatos krata kabarakata fras kabalakatos In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. The Lord is showing me a dark shadow. Shadow that has rested on families. Some for decades. And the Lord is saying this is the shadow that has covered the glory of many families. And the Lord is lifting it right now. He's lifting it right now. Bring them out. Lifting it right now. <laughs> lifting it right now. Please bring them. Now I'm seeing chains tying the feet of people. Feet means your movement. The Lord is taking away delay. I'm seeing delay. I'm seeing the number 25. Families, please bring them out. Delay, the spirit of delay that has tied down destinies. Bring them out. The Kasoni Aka. Abunday Afi Kodia is a car. Abunday Afi Kodia. She is a car.
Hallelujah. I want to pray very quickly. You are still bringing a few more people out now. I'm seeing something tied around the stomachs of people and I'm wondering what is this is what what the meaning of this is and the Spirit of God is telling me that this is enchantment this is witchcraft over many it came through dreams and it has tied down many this thing started from your dream and then tied your destiny down from seeing yourself in secondary school to writing exams that never finish to things holding your destiny down right now be released be released bring them out be released be released by the power that raised Christ from the dead by the power that raised Christ from the dead by the power that raised Christ from the dead now hear me every family under any cause cause of untimely death cause of failure at the edge of breakthrough now you are going to shout Jesus with that one loud shout those altars must give way now are you ready one two three shout Jesus be released be released be released be released your family be released your business be released your destiny be released everything that concerns you hallelujah what has buried the name of your family the statement e cupboard that it cannot even be heard again a family that was once great known for greatness but it looks like the devil has sat on your destiny i'm talking to three people by the spirit in the name of jesus right now by the fire of the holy ghost i declare may that veil may that veil be torn right now over your family may that veil be torn right now over your family may that veil be torn right now Every month, you must treat sickness, mysterious sicknesses, eating up your finances, eating up your energy, your vitality. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but by the power that raised Christ from the dead, that demonic authorization over your body is cancelled now. Cancelled now. The Lord is showing me a woman you've not been able to meet your husband abroad because they've denied you visa i don't know if there's such a person i've prayed for a number of people with those cases but the lord is speaking to me about one you've not been able to go and meet your husband you are legally married but you are unable to go and meet your husband because you've been denied again and again and this has caused a lot of tension in your home wherever you are by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name that is above all names we consult the greatest consular general and we declare by the spirit of the living god that this time around may favor speak for you may favor speak for you may favor speak for you i'm seeing someone here your brother currently has been kidnapped your brother, you are aware, he's been kidnapped. You are trusting God for his release. I don't know if that person is in this place, else I'm going to speak. Your brother, this is what God shows me in a vision, is part of those that were kidnapped until now. He's not been released. In the name of Jesus, I use this vision as a point of contact to everyone who has been kidnapped by wicked men, by the power that raised Christ from the dead this week, not next week, this week in the name that is above all names we declare their release now we declare their release now we declare their release now for everyone who is in front here brought by the spirit of god 
I decree and declare every spirit that has held you down God brought you by himself right now be released right now be released I decree and declare that as you rise you step into a range a, a level of strange testimonies strange testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ amen return back to your seat rejoicing how many of you are trusting God for supernatural jobs just lift your hands and put it down let me see if you don't believe keep your hand down you are trusting God that God between now and March that God can open a strange door let me see your hands I want to pray for you the prophetic is very powerful and that includes those from several nations you've heard testimonies you can stand for your brother you can stand for your son you can stand for your daughter you can stand for your spouse I decree and declare I don't know who is trusting God for a job, for you, for your family, or a change of job. Because some of you, what you are doing is not really a job. Anything that steals your spiritual life, destroys your health, causes enemies and multiplies your sorrow is not from God. Therefore, I decree, between now and the next one month, in the name that is above all names, and by the power of prophecy, from the east to the west, the north to the south, Nigeria and beyond, may God give you a strange testimony. May my God give you a strange testimony. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel stirred in my spirit to speak over the overflow outside. The overflow outside, please lift your hands. I want to pray for you. I'm praying for everybody. Everybody can tap. But I just sense in my spirit to speak over the overflow outside. Outside. Media, if you can help me. Let me speak over the overflow outside. Those outside, I want you to lift your hands. I don't know why God is asking me to speak. Perhaps it is to connect with you, to let you know that distance is no barrier. And it doesn't matter, up basement, all the other overflows, you can connect by faith, but I'm speaking particularly to those outside. Lift your hands, those outside, I want to pray for you. And I want you to believe by the faith of the Son of the living God, that what God will do in your life will surprise you beyond your imagination. <laughs> Father, in the name that is above all names, I pray for my people outside. Lift your hands and believe. This is not entertainment. Believe. Believe. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. He said, believe in his prophets, so shall you prosper. I pray for you. Everything that will make you laugh and celebrate between the next two weeks, whatever it is, by all godly means, I declare, may it happen for you. Everything that will make you celebrate, ah, Sarah said, all who hear this will rejoice with me. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Between now and the next two weeks, those outside, but it applies to everybody. Whatever God must do to make you laugh, I declare may it happen speedily. Speedily. If it's a job, may it happen speedily. If it's your visa, may it happen speedily. If it's your house, may it happen speedily. The Bible says, despise not prophesyings. Despise not prophesyings. Still keep them. I'm speaking to them. I'm speaking to them. Why God is putting it in my heart to speak to them? I'm speaking to those outside. Sometimes God moves like this to comfort us. To help us see and know that distance is no barrier. Media, are you helping me? In the name that is above all names. The oil of favor. The oil of favor that can come upon a man's head. That can come upon a man's hand. That can come upon his feet and rewrite his story. I stretch my hands first from outside and then to all connecting and to those connecting across the globe in the name of Jesus listen I tell you with all humility and with every sense of regard to you and to God I know what favor is I know how it works I have seen what the favor of God can do this ministry is evidence that God's favor can rest upon a man 
it is such as I have in the name of Jesus to those outside and whoever is tired of struggling moving from pillar to post and things are not working in ministry in finances I pray for you receive the oil of favor 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 everyone shout this after me say father every curse every enchantment every demonic arrangement orchestrated by men and by spirits against my life and my destiny let it be destroyed now open your mouth in one minute and pray every enchantment every curse orchestrated against my life against my advancement against my health against my prosperity by the blood of the eternal covenant be broken be broken be broken be broken in the name of Jesus you're going to pray now whilst you're seated shout this loud shout this clear whilst you're doing that you will multitask by passing your prayer request you may pass it to the right person extreme right or extreme left so it makes it easy for the ushers you'll see them picking up the request are you ready go ahead and pray say father I challenge come on shout like a believer say father I challenge by the light of God's Word every faulty belief system every wrong way of thinking that is empowering failure empowering defeat empowering attacks empowering delay empowering limitations over my life and destiny I bring it to captivity now go ahead and pray every limitation by the light of God's Word someone pray someone pray pray by the light of God's Word every thought every mindset mindset that came from the past mindset that came from wrong mentorship mindset that came from your previous failures mindset that came from culture mindset that came from your limitations whatsoever they may be sponsoring failure sponsoring defeat sponsoring attacks delays limitations in life and destiny i bring them to captivity by the light of God's word. Lay your hands whilst you are seated. Our time is fast spent. Let me speak over those who need healing. Our time is gone, but I have to do this. We may not take testimonies tonight, but lay your hands. I want to pray for you. The stage is always yours every week. You can register for your testimonies. Those online, everyone, please lay your hands. You're standing in for someone in the next one minute. I want to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, the one who died and resurrected in power and glory. Thank you for the power to heal, the power to bring life even to the sick. You gave us this noble instruction to heal the sick while we preach the kingdom. And Lord, in honor and obedience to that call, I stretch my hands right now over your people spread across this auditorium and its environs outside. The many who are following online and the many who will hear this, I'm praying in the name of Jesus that every spirit that is responsible for infirmity, every spirit responsible for sickness, 
diseases of any and all kinds by the power that raised Christ from the dead I cause the operation of those spirits from your body this moment in the name of Jesus right now I stretch my hands be healed shout a believing amen headaches be healed right now eye conditions be healed right now heart conditions be healed right now blood conditions be healed right now bone conditions be healed right now organ failures let there be a brand new a reproduction of new organs in the name of Jesus respiratory problems be healed now tumors and cancers be cursed now fibroids we curse you now gastrointestinal problems be healed now reproductory problems be healed now urinary problems be healed now respiratory problems be healed now digestive problems be healed now neurological problems be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ back pain be healed lumbar spondylosis be healed joint pains be healed we change genotypes right now from SS to AA from AS to AA in the name of Jesus Christ ear conditions be healed now every prolonged pain in your body be healed in the name of Jesus now whether I mention your case or not anyone appointed to death by sickness those following from hospitals clinics everywhere be healed right now I stretch my hands and I declare let the healing power of Jesus from this ground through the airwaves let it flow to you right now I speak to someone you shall not die your health will not deteriorate it is cancer that will die it is HIV that will die it is tuberculosis that will die it is pile that will die in the name of Jesus every mental health situation right here in Nigeria across Europe America Canada Asia be healed right now autism be healed right now if you are here you came with a wheelchair you came with a crutch or some walking aid for your feet your hands I declare be healed right now for every and any infirmity here at this miracle service we pronounce you healed we pronounce you whole we pronounce you perfected in the name of Jesus you will search for that pain and not find it again you will search for that infirmity and not find it again I declare restoration to your health no wall you will kick down lie you wouldn't tear down coming after me no shadow you will light up mountain you will climb up coming after me no wall you won't kick down Listen, before we continue, I sense in my heart to speak to someone. God is saying, I'm still waiting for you. I'm still waiting. I started with you on campus, but you left me on the way. I'm still waiting. Even though it is 10 years now, I'm still waiting. You started after a revival meeting, but something distracted you away from me. And the maker is saying, I'm still waiting. Still waiting. I have not changed my plan concerning you. What I told you 20 years ago is still what I'm saying. I would have replaced you, but I see the sincerity of your heart. And God is coming to you again. He's giving you a chance again. Someone shout again, here am I, send me. Here am I, send me. Send me to my family. Send me to that business. Send me to the crusade ground. Send me to that prophetic outpost. 
send me I am ready and I'm available no shadow you wouldn't light up mountain you will not climb up I'm in after me no wall you won't kick down lie you won't tear down when God insists on finding a man he becomes vulnerable almost to a point of shame and he does not mind he won't force you but he will pursue you almost with the vulnerability of a fool he will wait for you he will look for you oh god i'm giving birth to children now i don't have time for you i tell you sometimes he can be patient till you give birth to your last child then he comes again he says i met you 12 years ago are you now ready for me i can still use you even though time is gone you can still make the most of the 10 years left This is God for you. Koinonia, this is God for you. Oh, the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. Oh, he chases me down, fights till I'm down, leaves the night to night. I couldn't hurt it, I don't deserve it. That song was for you. God is still looking for you. God is still looking for you. God is not like a man who abandons people. He can be patient. You roam around your life running away from God, but you are still a prophet. That mantle is still hovering around you. You roam around running away from God, but you are still an evangelist. Those souls are still con. You've not opened your mouth and told God no. And because you've not told him no, he is still patient. He is still patient. He's saying you are still Esther. He's saying you are still Deborah. He's saying you are still Abraham. You are still Gideon. Provided you've not opened your mouth to reject the call, he will still chase after you. shadow you will light up mountain you will climb up coming after me no wall you will kick down lie you will me. hallelujah please hear me I'm prophesying to someone God is saying I should tell you when you were between the age of 13 and 18 you, you had dreams. You had a notebook where you wrote those dreams. And God is saying that you have rejected the call, but that he's calling you now. I'm not saying this to everybody. Between the age of 13 and 18, you were having visionary encounters. God will come to you. He showed you things. You asked pastors questions they could not answer. That thing was a call. It was a mantle upon your life. And now, after many years, you try to run away from church, but God has brought you back. You try to do your own thing to live your life. God is saying, I'm still calling you. I'm still calling you to return unto me. And I'm telling you prophetically, you can choose to reject the call, but he's stretching his hands tonight. Return back to that call. 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 You can reject him, but he's stretching his hands. Return back to that call. Those visions were not a waste. The dreams you saw were not a waste. The programs you went to were not a waste. The videos you watched were not a waste. Ale shabarandas kabadiata. Someone shout again, say, here am I. Send me. 
here am I send me I am available I am willing I am yielded I am available I am willing I am yielded listen 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 please I want you to listen to me I will return back preaching but I'm prophesying now I want you to listen to me I'm hearing in my spirit again this is particularly to a lady this is particularly to a lady the Lord is telling me that I should tell you that there is a healing ministry God promised you a healing ministry he gave you but until now you have not opened up your spirit to receive that anointing it's a healing ministry not just a teaching ministry not just a prophetic ministry is a mighty healing ministry you have seen this many times prophetic words have come concerning it but you see let me tell you for every call there is a consecration that follows calls just because God called you does not mean you will become don't let people die because of rebellion no there are people here who have been called by now you should have been commanding wealth of nations for the sake of the kingdom but because you have chosen to do it your way the foolishness of God's way you see God's way does not make sense you can push him and say I know how to make money by myself and you keep struggling and going around in circles if you patiently followed his way you would have stepped into your Rehoboth in one minute can someone cry and say Lord I repent I return I return I repent I repent I'm tired of going my own way tired of creating my own programs for my life come on someone is praying you're following online pray I'm tired of inventing my own way to live in my life and my destiny I'm ready to return to the blueprint I'm ready to return to the manuscript no matter how you've deviated his mercy can bring you back Lord you called me a worshiper I'm ready to return to my office you called me a worshiper you called me a businessman you called me an entrepreneur for the kingdom take a minute to pray that genuine prayer of repentance to repent means to realign to repent means to realign to repent means to realign take a minute let it be genuine repentance from your spirit I cannot lose this call there is so much that is vested upon my life someone is praying In Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray please sit down so the manifestation of God's desire and plan on the earth depends on the availability the willingness and the yieldedness of the Saints now ladies and gentlemen I want you to give me your rapt attention I know that the Spirit of God is moving across but 
If you can sit on the ground, sit on the ground. Don't worry, we are an organized people, but in this atmosphere, you will still fall down again. So just sit on the ground with your notebook and listen. Hallelujah. What kind of vessel is God looking for? This is what I want you to listen now. Mm. awakening this revival this move of the spirit that is springing forth from this place from this nation from this continent and spreading like an inferno spreading like an avalanche to the nations of the earth I open up my heart and my spirit and I declare that I'm a vessel available willing and yielded to be used by you go ahead and pray Pray from your heart. Pray with passion. Pray with fire. Pray with zest. Pray with zeal. Pray with conviction. Pray. Take a minute to pray. From the rising of the sun right on till it's going down, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. Are you praying? From the rising of the sun right on till it's going down, I will sing of the glory of the Lord. I will sing of the glory of the Lord. With my mouth will I make it known. From the rising of the sun, right on till it's going down, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. I will sing of the glory of the Lord. I will sing of the power of the Lord. I will sing of the wisdom of the Lord. I will sing of the
the favor of the Lord. With my mouth will I make it known. From the rising of the sun right on till it's going down, I will sing. I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified. Hallelujah. Somebody called me, he sent me a text one time. I may not be surprised if he's following. After we put this our agro program and programs to bless the business people and he called me and he said sir his exact words he said pastor sir you don't know me i'm a muslim i'm not a christian but we're having a discussion about you and the part that touched me was when i saw that you were not just complaining and that you were doing the bit that you were to train people he said i was touched i'm not a christian probably he's following he said, I was touched. And then he said, my wife listens to you. This is somebody who is aware. A non-Christian. My wife listens to you. And I will not stop her. Because I have seen the value. That thing touched me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, most of you don't come from the north. So you will not understand the implication of that statement. You would have you have to live in the north to understand what it means for a man to say listen i'm not a christian but we discussed you here and based on what didn't he see healing the sick in koinonia that's none of his business didn't he see the dishing out of greek and hebrew the point of profiting was when spirituality was translated now when you say god is love to his mind and the mind of his wife they can say yes even though i may not agree with your faith i cannot deny the value and the profiting that your spirituality has produced listen do you know why billy graham was one of the most respected preachers he did not waste his time in blind childish and mediocre debates his his idea was to understand scripture with the same. He was not a fanatic. Billy Graham was not the person who was jumping on stage like some of us. But the intelligence he gave to spirituality brought great honor to the name of the Lord. A documentary about Billy Graham shows, and I'm saying that because it's, it's the, the documentary is there, that the former queen of England, now late, one time she was in a lot of distress that had to do with her personal life. Among the many people she reached out to for advice and help and counsel was Billy Graham. There were other men of God in Europe, but she reached out to Billy Graham, history says. Are we together? There are many people who will not even study this. All we know is God will do it. And intelligent people look at us and say, what kind of people are these? When you want kings to call you, prepare to talk to them. Once you are talking to mediocre and mean men, and yet praying that God takes you to talk to kings, God cannot be mocked. You reap according to the quality of the seed you sow. You sow mediocrity, you remain with mediocre. So she reached out to Billy Graham, the documentary tells us, and Billy Graham sent her a text with one scripture comforting her. He said, I understand that things happen like this. And on account of her royalty and the things that she should understand that she's human and things happen like this. And then he sent a scripture of comfort. 
And then the secretary replied Billy Graham and told him how comforted she was on account of that. That was why no government could fight him. Even North Korea allowed him to preach there. Because there were governmental policies that a single nation cannot manipulate. And if a parliament, there are Christians who will be called to speak to UN. There are Christians who will be called to speak to African Union as single individuals that on account of something you say and a correct representation of, a ki of the kingdom, void of blind fanatism, ignorance, and mediocrity, you translate spirituality to excellence, excellence that cannot be denied. Even those who are not saved will call you and say, we may not respect your God, but translate his value systems into a policy that translates to nation building. What you see that we are doing is only the beginning of a fire that can never be quenched. Breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. I'm saying many will call you and say listen this organization is in confusion we hear you are a Christian and we like the context of your spirituality how much can we pay you come and help reorder this organization use the same value system that made your church dexterous import it to our organization and you tell them the condition is that you allow me hold a three-day crusade in your area they say we will sponsor it if it will help us listen I tell you the way evangelism will happen in the days coming will shock you it will be governments backing individuals because the profit factor of spirituality we will see the profit of spirituality to nation building that when we are praying in tongues it's not just a fanatic jumping up and down as we are jumping up and down something is leaving heaven and entering your spirit when you have the orientation God will give you the influence did you hear what I said when you have the orientation that represents the purposes of God God will give you the influence no man can promote himself no promotion comes from God your assignment is to contend with the spirit of revelation let him breathe upon your spirit breathe upon your mind breathe upon your body breathe upon your understanding erode that mediocre understanding erode that mundane understanding that small mindedness that is focused on self that small mindedness that is focused on extremism and fanatism it will not win the nations for Jesus learn from Billy Graham Billy Graham remains an inspiration for me today because of the way he manifested the God life what a pride to the Christian faith in life and in death what a pride to heaven in life and in death Billy Graham made men love Jesus he made men love the Christian faith he didn't shout like we did he didn't run around like we did but he transported spirituality the Holy Ghost walked in him and he brought the gospel in a context that saved nations saved leaders he prayed for leaders some of those leaders gave access today some of the access we have to the nations today came because of the conviction of the men who were imparted by his ministry how far no matter what want you to 
to hold hands with someone by your left and right if you can. We're going to pray two serious prayers in this place. The first prayer is you are going to cry for a fresh baptism of the spirit of revelation. Paul said that I may know him. He knew many things, but his focus was him. Not that I may know it. There were many it's he knew. He, it was Paul that brought order to the program of God. Order to how many things be done. But he said that I may know him. Let that be your prayer. By the spirit of revelation, Lord help me to know you. Help me to understand Jesus. Help me to understand your prophetic program. As far as the gospel and salvation is concerned. Someone is praying. Praying with seriousness. Praying with sincerity. From the depth of your heart. If you are a man of God, pray. Your members are at the mercy of your understanding. Pray. No matter how much you have deviated, there is still room to square up your understanding for the sake of those you lead and for the sake of your own growth. Go ahead and pray. The spirit of revelation comes to our lives, connecting us to God's eternal plan, helping us to understand the gospel, to understand salvation, and to understand the program of God. The spirit of revelation drawing out lessons cautions drawing out principles from scripture that help the believer to walk in total victory the spirit of revelation inspiring the spirits and the minds of believers giving us the ability to birth thoughts to birth ideas that empower us to be productive that empowers to sponsor advancement at a personal level at a societal level at a territorial level the spirit of revelation activating the prophetic dimension that is inherent in every believer helping us to take advantage of the prophetic resources we have at our disposal to live excelling christian lives dreams, visions, revelations, the prophetic. I choose the way of the Lord. I want to establish the second prayer point. I choose the way of the Lord. For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. One more time, sing it from your heart. For the way. Hallelujah. The second prayer point, listen please. The second prayer point is a burden in my heart that I'm sharing with you. We are going to pray for the body of Christ. Lord, let the spirituality in the body of Christ translate to profit and value that exalts Jesus and frontiers the cause of the kingdom. We are tired of fanatism. We are tired of extremism. Are we together? We are tired of the interruptions that our human nature is bringing to the program of God. You are going to pray and say, Lord, breathe upon us. We are available vessels. Let our praying in tongues, let our fastings, let our Bible studies, let our consecrations translate to value that our world can see. Christians and non-Christians, governments, leaders, heads of state, captains of industry, that they can see the profit point of serving God through our lives. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Pray for the body of Christ. Pray for the body of Christ. We are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill 
that cannot be hidden. Neither do men light a lamp and put it under a bushel, but it is put on a lampstand, a candlestick, and it gives light to all who are there. a minute and pray we pray for the body of Christ in Nigeria we pray for the body of Christ in Africa we pray for the body of Christ in Europe the body of Christ in America the body of Christ in Asia in the name of Jesus let us come as a corporate people into a season where the love the values the character the power the wisdom the profitability that comes from being a Christian, the profitability, the value that comes by being a person of faith, let it be translated to nation building. Let it be translated to territorial transformation. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, together and so I want to encourage you go back and listen to this message are we together listen to this message again listen to this message again listen to this message again pray with it download it and listen don't assume because you were here you understood it share it in love with anybody interested in learning God and living out spirituality to a context that profits the program of God and profits the society. Ignoring the society wherein you are planted is selfishness. You must factor in the fact that you came to that society as an object of God's mercy. You must factor in the effect of your spirituality or otherwise and the effect of your orientation on their overall well-being. Extremism and fanatism is the number one religious problem across our continent and plaguing other people. It is extremism that has produced all shades of error that right now governments are grappling to manage. At the back of the perpetrators of this thing is a supposed sincere pursuit, but it's ended up bringing all kinds of terrorist sects and all of that. At the back of anything that destroys society is an orientation. And those who perpetrate it believe that they are communicating truth or pleasing some kind of deity somewhere. It's important to restore Christianity, spirituality, the faith practice as intended by God. Have you been blessed tonight? Let me give somebody an opportunity tonight to come to this Jesus. Please keep standing. We're wrapping up. Let's respect the altar call. You heard me preaching while I spoke about the Bible, while I spoke about the spirit of revelation, and whilst you listened, the spirit of God began to prick you like he did Paul. And the spirit of God is telling you right now that you are part of the many that someday will have the opportunity to serve his purposes. God is calling you. There's no point being ashamed. There's no point being afraid. This is home for you. Wherever you are, I want you to leave your seat as I count one to five, this is a house of love. You can never be too far away that Jesus cannot bring you back. The, the epicenter of the gospel is the love of Jesus and his ability to save even to the uttermost. Now you come as I count. One, let's celebrate them as they come. Two, three. Come, win that war, come, come to Jesus. Regardless where you are, what you have done or not done, what you know or don't know, just come. Jesus is home. Jesus is the beginning. He's called the author, young and old, male and female. And for those connecting across the globe, he's given you an opportunity to know him. This is why he gave the Holy Spirit. This is why he gave us access to the word. Come.
Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to thank you, brothers and sisters. Thank you, all of you. Please, if you are joining them, come very quickly. I want to thank you for heeding to this call. Thank you for winning that war, summoning the courage to come and stand before Jesus. Let me tell you what this Bible says, that as many who will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. This is Jesus for you. The Jesus we present is the one who gives hope. The Jesus we present is the one who is always merciful, always kind, always loving. And provided your heart is open to receive of his mercy, you can never be too far that he cannot draw you. For some of you, he's giving you a new beginning. For some of you, you are recommitting yourself. It doesn't matter what category you belong to. I want you to lift your right hand and say this after me convincingly. Know that you are talking to Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I declare that I love you with all my heart. I declare that you are the Son of God. I declare that you died for me and you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive you into my heart and I declare that you are my savior, you are my Lord, you are my king. The power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight until forever, I am a child of God. I go from glory to glory, grace to grace. Amen. Keep your beautiful hands lifted and I pray for you. Father, thank you. Because your word declares that as many who will come to you, you will in no wise cast away. Thank you for your good hand upon these ones. Thank you for the authority of scripture. And by that authority, I declare your sins forgiven. I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God. I declare that you are empowered to live victorious spiritual lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken and destroyed forever over your life. You are empowered to walk in victory, to experience God, and to reveal him to your world. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Please look to your right. That would be my right. That would be your left. There are counselors who will have a brief word with you. Please do cooperate with them. They'll have just a minute or two with you, and you're back to your seat. Let's honor them as they go. Hallelujah. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.